is quick math tips and today I'm going I'm just going to cover the basics of circle theorems. Now the first circle theorem I'm going to look at is this one here when a circle looks like this and it has a shape that looks like this inside. Now my circle theorem in this specific circle here is that angles in the same segment are equal. So if this was 54 degrees, this one here would also be 54 degrees. Same way if this angle here at the bottom was 38 degrees, this angle here would also be 38 degrees. So take a note that angles in the same segment are going to be equal, okay? The second circle theorem that I'm going to have a look at is this one here. Now this here is a cyclic quadrilateral. What is a cyclic quadrilateral? A cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided shape where all four corners touch the circumference. Now you will get lots of four-sided shapes in circle theorems. However, a cyclic quadrilateral is going to be a quadrilateral where all four corners are touching the circumference. They have to be touching the circumference, otherwise the circle theorem won't apply. Now, the circle theorem in this case is that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to give you 180 degrees. So, for example, if this angle here was 70 degrees, this angle right here would be 110 degrees. So, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral had, have to add to give me 180 degrees. That is my second circle theorem. Now, another circle theorem is that this here is a semicircle, okay? Any triangle that is formed inside a semicircle will always be a right angle triangle. Even if I formed a triangle round about here, this one here would also be a right angle triangle. Any triangle that is formed inside a semicircle will always be a right angle triangle. So, so far, angles formed in the same segment are going to be equal. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. And any triangle formed in a semicircle will always be a right angle triangle. Now, our next circle theorem is this here is a tangent. So I'll just take an arrow out, say this is a tangent. A tangent is a line that meets the circle at the circumference at one point. Okay, now this here is a line going from the center to the circumference, which is called a radius. Now, a radius always meets a tangent at 90 degrees, okay? Radius always meets a tangent at 90 degrees. That's another very important circle theorem. Okay, now another circle theorem we're going to have a look at is this one here. Now, these two are chords and these two are radiuses. Now, this angle here is being formed at the circumference and this angle here is being formed at the center. Our circle theorem here is angles formed at the circumference are half angles formed at the center. So if this was angle X, this angle would be 2X. So angles formed at the center are double angles formed at the circumference. Our next circle theorem we're going to have a look at here is this is a tangent and one of the corners of this triangle meets the tangent. Now this angle here, this whole angle here, is the same as this angle here. Okay, and let's just for argument's sake call it A. This angle here is the same as this angle here and let's for argument's sake call it B. Okay, why are they the same? We are going to call this alternate segment theorem. These two angles are the same because of alternate segment theorem, okay? Now, for argument's sake, let's call this C. A plus B plus C adds to give me 180 degrees. Why? Because either they are inside a triangle or they add to give me, or they are on a straight line, which adds to give me 180 degrees. Last two circle theorems, I'm going to do two and one, okay? So my first circle theorem is that, say this is, a, this is B, and this is the point C. Now, my seventh circle theorem is that tangents that meet at a point are equal. So in this case, AC and BC are exactly the same length, okay? So tangents that meet at a point from the circle are exactly the same length always. That's my first circle theorem. My last circle theorem is that, say, this was a radius, and this is a radius, and I'm just going to cut this exactly down the middle. Now, these two triangles that have been formed are congruent. Congruent means exactly the same, not similar, exactly the same. There is nothing different about these two triangles, okay? They have all three same sides and they have all three same angles. Why? Because we know tangents from a point are the same. This is a radius and this is a radius, therefore this is the same. And this is the same line that cuts through both of them. 
Therefore, these two angles are going to be the same. These two angles are going to be the same. And these two angles is where radius is meeting a tangent. So this is 90 degrees. Radius meets the tangent at 90 degrees. Therefore, these two are 90 degrees. Okay? So let's just skim through our circle theorems again. Angles formed in the same segment are equal. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180. Any triangle formed in a right in a set any triangle formed in a semicircle is going to be a right angle triangle. Radius meets tangent at 90 degrees. Angles formed at the center are double angles formed at the circumference. These two are equal because of alternate segment theorem, and so are these two. Tangents from a point to the circle are equal, and these two triangles are congruent. Okay? So this is the basics of circle theorems. Thank you.